when someone has misalignment, how do we actually analyze for it? I'm going to give you a five-step process that I use personally to look for problems that people have with their spine. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 23 years. I give people realistic advice, things they could use based on my experience. So when someone comes in and has pain somewhere, we're just going to use the spine for right now. There's kind of a five-step process that I, that I go through and I'll do this as the patient is talking to me just in the consultation. Step number one is I look at their posture, but I don't just stand them up and look at their posture um, when they're trying to fake it, because if you say to someone, I'm gonna look at your posture, they all sit up straight and look like military people. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at how they're sitting, I'm looking at how their spine is flexed, I'm looking at how they get things up off when they ask them to take their shoes off, for example. How easy is it to, to use their posture? So that's step number one. Step number two is if it's the spine, I'll use a nervoscope. A nervoscope is very commonly used with gone state chiropractic, and it's just a piece of information that I use to look for is there any swelling, is there any heat on one side of the spine versus the other, and that can give me clues as to where there are potential problems. That's step number two. Now step number three is I use static palpation. So static palpation is I will run my fingers down the spine, I'll run it over the ligaments, over the muscles, and I'm looking for things like hypertonicity, tightness of the muscle, I'm looking for tenderness on the ligaments. Number four, I do motion palpation. Motion palpation is where we actually are, have our fingers on the spine and we're looking for, for the biomechanics of the spine. Does the spine bend to the right the same way it bends to the left? Does it rotate to the right the same way it rotates to the left? These are things that I'm looking for to give me a determination of where and how I'm gonna do the adjustment. Number five is I look at muscle strength. Very often when there's misalignment, muscles will be inhibited and muscles on one side of the body will not be as strong as the other. So these are all clues of how do we actually find the problems and then get, it gives us solutions on how we're going to correct these things. If you thought this was interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section below. If you would like to, you can become a Patreon of my account. This is where you help support the channel and you can determine what videos come next. Thanks for watching.